Welcome everybody, welcome to Homestead Park. And today we are gonna can some pineapple. Yep, and we're gonna do, this is gonna be so simple, y'all. I'm telling you, so, so simple. Y'all gonna love this recipe. <laughs> y'all stay tuned, tuned. So, I think I have everything I need here. I've already started this process. So, now all you're gonna need is a pineapple or several. I have one of these, but if you don't wanna use that, remember I didn't use that the last time, right? I did it by hand when I was making the pineapple jam to show you, you can do it by hand or you can do it with the little pineapple cora. It's up to you, okay? You're also gonna need a bowl to put the pineapple in to catch the juice, and then another dish to put your pineapple in, and maybe even a serrated knife. Okay, now I also have real simple canning tools today, no funnel needed, but I am gonna be using my lid magnet. I am gonna be using my jar lifter right here. Now these jars right here, they are not hot, like hot, hot, but they are warm, okay? And the reason why I'm doing that is because I'm going to be putting boiling water in these jars. You are also going to need lemon, lemon juice and one teaspoon. Now, this is optional. If you don't have lemon juice, don't worry about it, but I just love to do this. I I think it does something for the flavor for me, you know. So I just love it. The pineapples are sweet. They're good. But just that little hint of lemon, pretty good. All right, y'all. So now we're going to go ahead and get started. The first thing I'm going to do is just take my little pineapple here. Let me move this stuff out of the way. I hope you all can't even see. So what I'm going to do is take my pineapple here, and I'm going to cut the top off. Just like so. Take the tag off. I got these from Aldi's. Sit that to the side over there. Just like I got the rest of them. And then I'm gonna take my bowl and stand this up in my bowl. Now the pineapples, they do have a core in the center. I'm sure you all know that. But they have a core in the center. And I'm just gonna take my pineapple core and I'm gonna place it, line it up on top of that core. That's it. Line it up on top of the core. Hold on, y'all. Yeah, that's it. Okay. I'm going to line it up right there. And then I'm just going to press down and twist. Y'all, this little gadget is one of the best gadgets made since sliced bread. I'm going to twist this all the way down. Once I get to the bottom, I'll be able to actually hear because it's going to sound like a crunch. Right, it's gonna sound different than actually going through the pineapple itself. I'm just gonna core that out, almost. We're there, and then I'm gonna pull up. Ugh. I'm gonna try to pull up. <laughs> Ugh. Ugh. Now I gotta put some, you know. Ugh. Okay, here it comes. Okay, almost out. <laughs> there goes. Had to put a little elbow grease into it, but that's okay. <laughs> All right, so now I'm just going to take the top off here, the handle, take that off. It has these little buttons on the side. You just take that off. And then I'm going to grab my bowl right here with my other pineapple, turn it upside down. And then it should just slide right on off of there. And that's that, okay? Now I'm going to put this back on and lock that back in place. Now this right here, see that? That core, this whole thing, I'm putting it in this pot right here. Because I am going to boil that down and get all of as much juice out of it 
as I can. In fact, I just might put it in my roaster and just let this cook low and slow overnight so I can get all of the juice out. And then we'll be making some pineapple jelly. Mmm, -mm, that look good. Put that in there with the rest of uh, uh, uh. All right, let's move on to the next one. Get that to the side, slide that up. Grab my pineapple. Make sure you don't cut too close to the uh, top because you don't want your pineapple core to be cutting into this skin here and that gets into your pineapple. You don't want that. So you're gonna cut down far enough to avoid that, okay? There we go. Just like that. Side these to the side. Y'all remember when we did the pineapple top? I was saving from the pineapple for the pineapple jam. That didn't go so well. Okay, now I'm going to grab my little core here, line that up with the core on the pineapple, and I'm just going to start to twist. All right, that's my crunch. Oh, I'm getting that pineapple juice everywhere. I forgot to put it in the bowl. All right, now I'm going to pull this up. And be careful, you all, because this is a blade on the end of this. This thing is sharp. So be super careful, okay? There's our pineapple. Take off the top part of this. I'm just going to squeeze those two buttons. It's one on each side. And I'm going to squeeze them at the same time and pull off the top. All right. Move that over and put my pineapple in the bowl. All right. Now I'm going to tell y'all something. This pineapple being ripe like this, it smells so super good. And I have a daughter who loves pineapple. Okay. Okay. And there is no way I would be able to do this if she was here. She'll be there. Ate up all my pineapple. Oh, look. Let me sit this to the side. I done ran out of room in my pot. All right. Last pineapple. Sit those to the side. Right? Didn't this eat super fast, right? These little things that make the world a difference. And you can find these anywhere. And of course, like anything, they're going to range in price. Okay? So, you might find one like I did for about five bucks. And they have them for ten and even thirty dollars. They got some that's really expensive. But this one is doing the job. That's my crunch. I'm going to just slide that right on up out of there, baby. All righty. Now, take off my top. And that should slide right on down. And that's it. That's my last one. Because I already have some done. Now we're going to get them jarred up. We're going to get these babies jarred up. But um, the first thing I'm going to tell you is this. Remember the lemon juice. Let me show you what I'm going to do with this, y'all. In the bottom of each one of my jars... I'm adding a teaspoon of lemon juice. This is not required, okay? Remember now, I just love the flavor that I get when I add it to my pineapple. It just, to me, it elevates it. So yeah, so I'm adding it into my jars. Ooh, yeah. 
Now, sit that to the side. And then I'm just going to take my pineapple rings. Make sure y'all can see. I'm going to take my pineapple rings. All of these are not going to fit down in one jar, okay? You could look at that and tell. So I'm just going to maybe take off the top two rings, just pull them apart, right? And I'm going to take the entire ring set, put that over my jar, and get them down in the jar. You see how they just falling in? Just working them in there. They'll go in there. Just got to work them in. Just like so. Push them down as they go. All the way down. And if you are at more than a one inch head space, take out a ring. That's all you got to do. Is just take one out. That's it. Yep. There we are. Yep, there we are. Sit these to the side in case I need them. Now, I'm going to start here. If you find that you have an eye on the side, just get a knife and pinch it or take it off, or you could just pinch it off with your hand. But do you see how easy these are going down in the jar? The entire ring. And if you need to add a piece, add a piece. See that? I don't know if I got enough jars, y'all. <laughs> Make sure you mash them down in there. Just like so. One too many. Well, maybe not. Okay. There's another one. Grab my next set of rings. Pinch off any eye that I might see. And mash it down in the jar. That could be kind of sticky. <laughs> there we go. This is a good excuse to let children play with their food. <laughs> All right, look at that. See that? Beautiful. Beautiful. I got one more jar here. I think I may have enough jars. Okay. Now, this recipe right here, y'all are not going to believe this, but guess what? I'm not doing a simple syrup for this at all. This recipe, y'all, this is no simple syrup. This is no sugar added, okay? None of these are sugar added. These are all just pineapple, lemon juice, and water. No sugar. You heard me, mama? No sugar. One thing I forgot to mention, before you start this process, get your water bath canner going to get that water hot. And once it just gets to the point of boiling, reduce the heat to a simmer, leave the lid on while you prepare your pineapple, okay? Now that I'm about to ladle in the hot water, I crank my fire back up to high and it's already beginning to boil. So, so far, we got lemon juice, pineapple, and water. No sugar, no simple syrups, no none of that. Okay? No sugar. 
Y'all should have heard my mama fussing at me about that sugar I put in that strawberry jam. Why are you putting all that sugar in that strawberry jam? <laughs> That's too much sugar. Yes, ma'am. So now I'm just going to ladle in my water. Go to the next one. I could use a funnel. But that's okay. I'm pouring it right down the center. And I am filling this all the way up because I'm going to uh, debubble this. And when I debubble it, the water should settle. Because sometimes canned pineapple, you can get a lot of air pockets settling in the pineapple. So I'm just overfilling it because I got a feeling that it's going to settle pretty good once I debubble. And it would probably be a big help if I had a skewer to debubble these. Okay, so since I don't have a skewer, I got to use my debubbler, which is, hmm, not here. I'm using this again because I can never seem to keep up with my debubbler. I don't know what be going on with that debubbler. That's the second one. Anyway, let me go ahead and debubble. <laughs> Any, now, like I said, mashing this down in the sides, y'all, making sure you remove the air pockets. And like I said, this definitely, the water level definitely went down in that jar. Put that one to the back. Get to the next one here. You got to go down the sides and I will try to hold the pineapple down as I do it. Go down the sides and just move it around a bit. And the water level went down on this one too a bit. So I'm going to have to add just a little bit more to bring that back up to that one inch head space. All right. I'm going to set that one to the side as well. Yeah, get that really down in there, you all. Because you can't see it, but the air bubbles are really coming to the top of this as I try to really, you know, put, push this down in there. Now that has a little bit too much liquid. So I'm going to sit that one right here, grab my little teaspoon. And just move it over. Awesome. Sit that back there. Ooh, I can't even get this one down in there. There we go. And if you do the rings, it's going to be a tight fit. Now, just in case I didn't say this already, if you want to do pineapple chunks you can do pineapple chunks okay but i just like to do the rings because they're faster to do less chopping involved right super simple okay Ooh, i don't know if y'all saw that that was a ton of bubbles that just came to the top of the surface here and that's what we want. We want to make sure that we are releasing those air bubbles. Bring that back up to a one inch head space. Let's see. Make sure you go all around the jar. Then put your product back in place. Make sure it's nice and neat and all cute looking. I'm going to have to put some more water in that one. All right. 
take a little bit of water out of this one, so you could go right here. <laughs> one inch headspace here y'all that pineapple looks so good in them jar just look at there with that lemon juice in there mm, mm, mm. okay now I'm gonna grab my paper napkin and I'm gonna wipe the rims of my jars I got my vinegar and my paper towel I'm gonna make sure I squeeze the excess vinegar out of this paper towel and I am going around the rims of my jars. Really good. You don't want to have any residue, no pineapples, no nothing on the rims of these jars, so be sure that you clean them well, okay? And that's that. Okay, now I'm gonna take my magnet, grab a lid, Get it on each one of my jars. I do still simmer my lids, sure do. And no shame in my game. And then, after I get all my lids on, I'm going to put on the bands. Alrighty. Y'all, I got to get these pickles out. These are cucumbers out the way. Getting ready to make some pickles, too. Put those on fingertip tight. Yes, my water was hot. My pineapple is not. And the, the water in my canner is hot. So once I put the hot water in these jars, they heated up my jars. Now the... Alternative is you can you can simmer your pineapple in hot water if you like before you put them in the jars. You can actually put them in a pot of water that's kind of boiling and you want to simmer them for 10 minutes and then you can take them out and pack your jars hot. That's an extra step I don't have to do. They say that make sure you put these bands on fingertip tight, okay? So they say that it might cause discoloration in your product if you don't simmer the jar, I mean, if you don't simmer the pineapple. And um, I've never really had a problem with that. And perhaps it's because I always put a, a teaspoon of lemon juice in mine, but I've never had a problem with discoloration. So anyway, let's get these eight pints in the canner. I've turned the fire down on my water bath canner because the water was boiling too hard and I didn't want to be putting jars down in there while that water is boiling up. So now I'm going to go ahead and take the lid off. It can settle down some. Sit that to the side and I'm going to get my jars in this canner. Just pop them in. And my jars are still warm. These were the first few jars I did. And they started to cool down just a bit. So what I did was I put them in the water that I was using to funnel in. The water was boiling hot, but it's not boiling hot anymore. It's kind of warm. So warming my jars back up a bit. Taking them out of the water here. Perfect getting them down in my canner. One last look before they go in. 
gorgeous. All right. Now, what I'm going to do now is get the lid back on, crank this baby back up on high, and we're going to get this show on the road. On goes the lid. Crank this back up to high heat. This is going to start boiling again. Once this water starts boiling a hard boil again, guess what? We processing these babies for only 15 minutes. That's it. <laughs> 15 minutes in the water bath canner, they come out of the canner and they ready to go on the shelf. Yeah. Now, while we're waiting for this to come back up to a boil, let me say this. While I am waiting for the water to come back up to a rolling boil, I wanted to go ahead and address a question that I know I'm going to get because I get it just about every canning video, if not every canning video that I do. And that is, how long will this product last? How long will the pineapple last on the shelf or in the pantry okay and the answer to that question is for me I really don't know I know that there are recommendations for how long the pineapple will last but first-hand knowledge I don't have because we never get to that point somebody always eat them all <laughs> so now these pineapple right here I can these back in September of 2017 so we're approaching three years okay that I have canned these pineapple right here and I bet by the time I get to September probably won't have any left so can a lot okay because I have just did those pineapple but really I need to get more pineapple and get them canned up because I would love to be able to can up enough pineapple to last another three years yeah so uh, or longer right so and another factor is properly store your product and you will increase its shelf life okay now with that being said store your canned foods in a cool dry place okay in a cool dry place and hopefully you can keep it primarily dark meaning that if you go in and out of there and you're flipping on the light switch that's not what i mean okay i'm talking about avoid direct sunlight canned products in jars do not like direct sunlight so keep your room dark so that the jars are not getting hit by sun by sunlight okay so that will definitely help to prolong the life of your canned foods. So I hope that answers your question um, about how long does the food last. It's going to vary from product to product, but the biggest factor is going to be how well you store it. Okay? All right. I think I hear some boiling going on. We're going to see. <laughs> We rolling. All right, y'all. So now that we have a rolling ball going on here, I can never get this thing spot on. We're going to start our timer for 15 minutes. After that 15 minutes is up, I'm going to turn off my pot. I'm going to let it sit there for about five minutes. Probably not that long, maybe three to five minutes, just long enough to let the water settle. I'll say that. Okay, and once the water settles down, we will pull them out of the canner, get them on this mat, and let them cool down, and they will sit here for 24 hours. After that 24 hours is up, you all, remove the rings, okay? After that 20, just overnight, it doesn't necessarily have to be exactly 24 hours, but if you're canning during the day, leave them till tomorrow morning. If you're canning at night, leave them till tomorrow morning. <laughs> okay and then come back remove the rings put your cute little label on or right on the top of the jar whichever you prefer on the lid I mean and get them put away stored in the pantry 
All right. So I love that sound back there. There's some magic happening in that pot. So that's uh, going to be it for just. It's our timer. It's time to get these babies out of the pot. I'm going to turn off the timer. Turn off the fire. Now, I'm going to give that a second. Because, you know, you really just want to let that cool down. I'm going to take the lid off. Yep. Sit my lid. Woo! Sit the lid to the side. Y'all be careful opening these lids now. So that water, even though I took the lid off and turned the fire off, that water is still bubbling like that. So that's why I say give it about three to five minutes. Let that water settle all the way down, then take them out of the canner. Okay, it's been three minutes. I'm getting them out. And it's still bubbling just a little bit. So five minutes probably would be the best, but I got to do my evening chores. I got to get them out of here. So let me grab them. Woo. Get those babies set to the side. Already looking good. Oh, sorry. There we go. All right. Man. Yeah, y'all, it's only been three minutes. So I'm going to stand by my five minute rule on this because it's still bubbling over here and they haven't quite settled enough here from the water just constantly boiling, right? So I'm going to stand by my five minute rule and say five minutes, let them sit and then come get them. Because this water is still bubbling up over here. And I don't want a bubble to pop open in my hand down there and that hot water splash on my hand. Oh my goodness, I wouldn't like that. But it is settling down, so that's good. Okay, last one. Eight jars of pineapple, ready to go. <laughs> oh, and it smells so good and tropical in here. <laughs> pineapple. Y'all, that is going to do it for canning pineapple rings today. Just straight up, no sugar, no nothing, just water. Oh, and that lemon juice, right? But if you like lemon, you're not gonna be, you're not gonna mind the lemon juice in the water. It does give it just an extra little kick if you if you ask me. I like it, you know. But it's optional. You can put it in or you can leave it out. It's totally up to you. But I love the lemon juice in my pineapple. Okay, so that is going to do it for today, you all. <laughs> Ping. <laughs> That's going to do it for today, y'all. If you haven't done so already, go ahead and give the video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss a single video that we upload to our channel. I sure hope you enjoy this simple method of canning fresh pineapple, okay? I sure hope so <laughs> because I love it, right? So I hope you love it as well. Thank you so much for watching Homestead Heart. Peace and blessings to each and every one of you, and I will see you in the next canning video.